This is to all men, and I am speaking for every single woman when I say this. Please stop trying to date us if you are not ready to pay for the meal, to pay for the entire date, and to pay $400 for a babysitter. I'm not going to pay $400 for a babysitter, and neither should any other woman, to go on a date with you. That's many fish. But it's not a card. <laughs> I can't be the only one with this question. What exactly are you getting when you hire a babysitter that charges 400 bucks for a few hours? Because at that price, I'm expecting an actual butler who's not only gonna watch the living hell out of those kids, but also clean the one bedroom apartment, make crumpets, and answer telephone calls in the snootiest of British accents. But I think it goes without saying they will have to provide their own sterling silver tray and tea sets because mine are currently in the shop. But I digress. If this monotone broad is charging a dude 400 bucks for a babysitter for a single night, then something smells a little rotten. Because either this woman is so terrible with money she's hiring a service she obviously can't afford, or she's trying to come up with a clever way to extort men out of their hard-earned money. And if that's the case, woman, you really need to rethink that scam. Because you're not smart enough or even attractive enough to con dudes out of four cents, let alone 400 bucks. If you want to take me on a date or any other woman on a date, you need to pay for everything. The meal, the the date, wherever you guys go, and the babysitter. Quit expecting us women to spend $400 on our babysitters just to go on a date with you. That makes no sense. I'm not going to lose out on $400 just to go on a date with you. You're the one that wants to date me. You're the one that's pursuing me. So if you want to date me, then you need to pay for everything. You know what? I think I might have noticed something, and now I can't seem to get my mind off of it. I'm not sure if there are any lenses in those glasses. Can anybody tell? Because I can't. Now, if you don't need corrective lenses, more power to you. But if there's no lenses in those frames, then your case, which was already lifeless on arrival, somehow magically becomes even more not alive. I'm actually kind of impressed with the whole thing. You're sitting there, virtually emotionless, in glasses which may or may not be real, trying to extort men for 400 bucks for a date that you're clearly not interested in even doing. Gotta admit, it's a pretty bold strategy. Completely dumb and pointless, but bold nonetheless. The only thing wrong with it, outside of every single aspect of this plan, is that you're overestimating your value and underestimating a self-respecting man's sense of self-worth. And no man is gonna stoop so low to be conned into giving you almost half a grand for a date that will clearly go nowhere. And don't even say that the baby's father needs to pay for babysitting because why would the baby's father want to pay for babysitting so the mother could go on a date with another man? Like that makes no sense. Just because you're not man enough to pay some money for a babysitter? Like people talking, they say, huh? What are you talking about? It's time for you men to grow up, be mature, and own up to your responsibilities. When you date a woman with kids, those kids become your responsibility. And you get a reaction from people who say, huh? What do you talk about? Whoa, slow your roll there, woman. There is a time to be bold, and there's a time to just give up, and right now is no time for you to be bold. You need to face the facts. You're a single mother. That means your desirability level is already near rock bottom. You're also clearly uninteresting, and judging from your complete lack of facial expressions, you might be a stalker. But now to add insult to injury, you're challenging a dude's manhood for not paying for your terrible life choices, and that's not how this works, sister. They're your kids, they're your problem. And in in the event that a man somehow gets insanely drunk to the point where he's cool with taking you out on a date, it's gonna be your responsibility to find the sitter. How can you expect the man to pay for it? He just spent 400 bucks on booze to mentally prepare himself for the evening. He's gonna need another 200 minimum to maintain that level of drunkenness just to stand being around you. So have a heart, woman. The least you can do is dig into your pocketbook and pay for your own damn sitter, as well as a few shots of 5 o'clock vodka for the guy. He's already lowering his standards drastically just to be seen with you in public yeah that checks out 
That sounds about right. Why men don't approach women anymore. So historically, women have always waited for men to make the first move. Is he gonna go in for the kiss? Is he gonna hold my hand? But now, whenever I talk to my friends about their dating history, all I hear them talking about is, oh, he hasn't made a move, he's not doing anything, we're not moving forward. So on the flip side of this, this normally ends up in men feeling like they're getting ghosted or that there's just being told there's no spark. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! shit. Oh, well, that's an easy fix. Just tell your friends and clients to wake up and smell the 21st century. It's the era of fax machines, plaid shirts, and Leaf Garrett albums. The sisters are supposed to be doing it for themselves, after all. If you log on to any social media platform, you're going to be able to fill at least eight dozen sweatshops worth of women who constantly complain about men. But the one thing they seem to refuse to admit is that there isn't anything from stopping a woman from making that first move if she's interested. In fact, for many of us, it would be appreciated. But modern women are so caught up in this dual fantasy of being both a strong and empowered boss bay who don't need no man, but still wanting that man to sweep her off her feet and give her that romantic comedy lifestyle she thinks she deserves. That's asking for modern traditionalism, and you can't have both. You asked for independence, and you got independence. So show your independence by proving you don't need a man to make the first move, and make it yourself. There, problem solved. No need to thank me, womankind, but you're still welcome. And from what I'm hearing from a lot of my clients, it's not because that you're not attracted to her. It's more about fearing that you're either going to get rejected, maybe you're going to get turned down, you know, slapped in the face when you go for that first move, or even worse, like getting in trouble with the law. Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> I find it fascinating how you can just briefly gloss over how badly the Me Too movement has completely destroyed human pair bonding between men and women. You see, because of this movement, men have significantly more to lose than women when it comes to these types of things. All a woman has to do is make a false accusation against the man and his life is completely and utterly ruined. He'll get a criminal record, lose his job, his reputation, and his in some cases, his friends and family. And even if he's able to prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that the woman was lying, even if he has rock solid alibis and is completely innocent, it doesn't matter. His life will forever be in shambles. Meanwhile, the woman who made the false claim and destroyed this man's life will get a slap on the wrist at the absolute worst. So with all of that being said, with that kind of risk a man would have to take, then I must ask, why in the gloriously immaculate reusable coffee mug of the intergalactic space guy Gia short all hail, would any of us take that kind of a chance? So, you need to ask yourself, does this sound like you? The truth is, you probably missed that golden opportunity to create that spark. And she likely was giving you signals that you just didn't quite catch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, woman, I feel embarrassed that I have to do this, but you seem like a special brand of unintelligence, so I'm gonna have to put this as simply as I can. Subtle hints are for whodunit mysteries and ultra-rare RPG unlockables. They have no place in the modern dating scene. Instead of expecting men to quickly evolve and adopt mind-reading capabilities, maybe you and your friends should just learn how to effectively communicate. You can avoid all of this drama if you just accepted that the dating culture has changed and you're gonna have to put in a little bit more work than make a subtle hint. Trust me, sweetheart, you're not putting in nearly as much work as you think when you resort to petty stuff like this. Men would actually appreciate it if you were upfront and just said what was on your mind and not assume we have the ability to just absorb what you're thinking via osmosis. So don't put the blame on us. We have more to lose than you. So if you're interested, make your intentions crystal clear because we're not risking everything we have just so you can feel comfortable getting away with doing next to nothing. Yes, I'm certain that I read that somewhere once. Okay, I just wanna know if anybody else agrees with me. Okay. So the more people I talk to, well, older people I talk to, the more I'm like, um, yeah, the internet has definitely changed, obviously we all know, changed the dating era and everything. Because when I talk to these older people, they're like, oh, I met him when I was like freaking 16, two weeks later, we were married, we're still together and I love him to this day. And it's like, I know so many couples that have been together for years there's no ring there's nothing because holy shit wow that's what's what that's fantastic work man you have the you have the wisdom of a six or seven thousand year old man that's fantastic we don't have to fill up the whole blackboard after all 
So you think that the internet has kind of ruined the way we go about relationships, huh? Well, gentlemen and gents, I think we found ourselves the official runner-up to the fourth place winner of the annual Captain Obvious Awards. Congratulations, lady. You have officially caught up with the program. It only took you 15 years. That's probably a record somewhere. The reason why these old couples are married is because back when they were dating, they dated within their market and didn't have an overinflated sense of self-importance. They found themselves a guy that ticked a good number of boxes and decided that they were good enough to marry and they formed a lifelong bond. These women also didn't pay a drunk tattoo artist to treat their bodies like their own personal etch-a-sketch. Seriously, woman, what the hell were you thinking? You know what? Don't answer that. We already know that there isn't a thought that goes through that smooth-sided brain of yours that doesn't start with I think or I feel. And I think some questions are just best left unanswered, so let's just move on, shall we? The internet has literally made it impossible for some of y'all to settle down because you always think that there's something better out there. If you think there's something better, leave that person be. Leave them alone. Get hitched or get out because I'm literally tired of y'all being together for so long. Like, oh, we're just waiting. Waiting for what? For somebody better to come along? Waiting for what? If you like that person and you and that person get along really good and you guys are like two peas in a pod, just do it. Who cares what other people think? What business is it of yours? All right, woman, I'm gonna ask you to stop pretending. You seriously can't expect any of us to believe that you have this much emotional investment over the nuptials of the people in your social circle, do you? Well, okay, I suppose it's possible. You don't seem all that interesting and you have a limited vocabulary, so I guess I couldn't put it past you to think that everybody around you is just acting in your own personal reality show. But I think the more likely assumption is that you've been shacking up with a dude for the last few years and you've caught a case of the feels and you're furious over the fact that he hasn't proposed to you because you desperately want a wedding party where you get a whole bunch of free stuff. But you don't have to be a relationship expert to know why that's never gonna happen. Why should this guy marry you when you're giving him regular access to your inked up goblin chamber of infernal despair? Especially when you clearly are willing to air out every single gripe on TikTok for the entire planet to witness? It seems pretty smart for this guy to put his money towards more useful things like Ohio blue tip matches as opposed to an engagement ring for you. Oh, but we just met. We're gonna be judged. Who gives us? Not me, not your neighbor, nobody cares because the only people that is in your relationship is you and the other person. Come on, wake up, smell the roses. If you don't want to be with that person, leave. Stop wasting their time. Y'all be wasting everybody's time. Stop wasting everyone's time. Just like I just wasted yours, but maybe I didn't. Go ask, go ask her to marry you, who cares? Stop worrying about other people and worry about yourself and your partner. Nope. That would be a waste of time. <laughs> You know what? I might actually need to walk back what I just said a little bit. I'm starting to think that this woman is actually heavily invested in her neighbors getting married. And to that, I have to say, woman, get a life and mind your own business. Is your life so devoid of any meaning that you feel the need to loudly complain to the world that your neighbors aren't getting hitched? Woman, there is a million and a half reasons why getting into a legally recognized marriage is about as dumb as getting tattoos all over your body. Outside of it being a completely pointless union that can exist without any form of legal certification, it's also an extortion scam that's designed to squeeze out as much money and dignity out of a groom as humanly possible. And no man is going to put themselves through that no matter how much you try to air out their dirty laundry. So if you could just kindly shut your yogurt hole, put on some clothes, and mind your own business, go find a better way to waste your own time. Humanity thanks you in advance. Oh! And that is going to do it for today's video, gentlemen and gents. And as always, if you find that my particular brand of comedy is bringing you to the brink of laughter, then why don't you scroll on down and click that like and subscribe button and ring the notification bell, leave a comment or seven, and let's give the good old-fashioned middle finger to the YouTube algorithm. As far as this cat's concerned, I've got some of the greatest subs in the known universe. So thank you so much for checking out the new video, and until next time, peace out, homies.